Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I wanted to quickly show you this bag of mushrooms that I grew without a fruiting chamber. Once you see the block is fully colonized by the mycelium, you can just poke a hole right above the filter patch to allow some fresh air and some reduction of CO2 and allow pinning to happen inside of the bag. The mushrooms tend to grow really tall as they search for fresh air at the top of the filter patch bag. I used Piapino as an example for this video, but this method will work to fruit many different species without a fruiting chamber. This method is beneficial if you don't have a grow tent, a shotgun fruiting chamber, or a Martha tent, or if you just don't want to take up space in your fruiting chamber. By leaving the filter patch bag upright and not folding it over, you're allowing the mushrooms room to grow and by poking a hole above the filter patch you're providing fresh air for the mushrooms to grow up toward. With fewer variables to manage, beginners can focus on learning the fundamentals of the cultivation process without the complexity of additional equipment or intricate setups. Its simplicity and user-friendly nature provide beginner growers with a less intimidating introduction to the world of cultivating fungi. After harvesting all of the mushrooms from the bag and removing all of the bits and pieces off the surface, you can use an impulse sealer to reseal the bag so that it can grow an, a second flush. You can use a regular food dehydrator on a low temperature setting to dehydrate your mushrooms. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more mushroom content.